So I feel like there's kind of two things that you need to be successful at reselling stuff from thrift stores. One obviously is knowledge. There's no secret there. You gotta know what's valuable. You gotta know what to pick up. You gotta know what actually sells on eBay. But is there a secret second thing? I kind of think there is. There's something that people really don't talk about. And that's mainly because it's not fun, but it's the truth. So I wanna explain that to you today, but I feel like a recent thrift trip that I went on will kind of help me explain it a little better. All right, first up in the book section, not really finding a whole lot. Usually look for like textbooks or sets. That's really all I know. Uh, there's a bunch of JD Robb books. I could buy those and put them in one big lot. There's a few more there. Not really seeing anything to resell. I'm also looking for a uh, book on lubrication. My garage door's been sticking, so I need some uh, lubrication information. It's probably in the non-friction section though. Well, the clothing section is pretty sparse too. I did find two FootJoy golf shirts, but I'm trying to be a little pickier with my golf stuff since the season's slowing down a lot. But I am gonna grab this Nike Golf Modern Fit. It's got the mock neck on it, and I always do really well with these mock necks. This one's probably get about 20 bucks, maybe a little more since it's got a pattern. If you can find the Tiger Wood ones though, they do really well. Well, unfortunately, just the one shirt at Goodwill. I'm certainly not gonna get rich like that. The good news is she charged me for a t-shirt. It's only $1.50. Just spotted these guys in the Christmas section. They want $5.99 for the marching light bulbs. Uh, there's several listed for like $60 or $70, but only two have sold them. They're selling for like $35. So I feel like if I list that at $35, Christmas coming, it'll sell pretty quick. They've gone kind of crazy on their prices here. $35 for a bread maker. I think they sell for like $40, $45 online. $26.99 for an Oster steamer. $22 for a toaster oven. Kind of pricey. Speaking of bread though, I actually saw the other day where somebody had put some sourdough in a cage. It was uh, bread in captivity. Department 56, Snow Village, Bright Lights, Christmas Parade, Marching Bulbs. Uh, so for like 30 bucks, ended up only paying 4.19. It was 30% off today. So not horrible. So they've kind of got a few areas of hard goods in this store. They got this one right inside the door. Got this area over here for big items. And all along that back wall is hard goods. And guess what? I've looked all through them and haven't found a single thing. I'm gonna look on the other side of this rack and then maybe I can find something in the clothing. Pretty sure a guy just donated a bunch of golf stuff and at first it looked really good. I was gonna get like four or five shirts, but this is the only one that survived. Most of them had spots or stains or were faded, but that's pretty cool. Kind of depressing y'all. Just the one shirt, Polo Ralph Lauren, uh, Kiowa Championship, I can't remember. Here's a comp. But hopefully it gets better because, I mean, this is pretty bad. I certainly can't pay bills like this. I actually had a friend very recently that was struggling pretty bad. Couldn't even pay his water bill. So I uh, sent him a good, well, soon card. So I went to three thrift stores and picked up three things that, I don't know, might can make me 40 bucks. And I'm the one sitting here telling you guys about the secrets of reselling. That's kind of ironic, isn't it? But honestly, that is the secret. I don't go to just one thrift store. I don't spend just 30 minutes at three thrift stores and find a whole bunch of stuff that I can make a whole lot of money on. I go thrifting a lot. Unless you're in some kind of gold mine crazy area of the land of milk and honey, I don't know, that's what it takes. Like for example, that first thrift store where we started off this video, I had already been there that week. Just walking by the clothes and headed to the hard goods and spot this guy. It's a nice heavy shirt too. Should be vintage. I don't know. It's worth picking up though. $4.75. So yeah, I picked up one CC Filson. I'm going to call it a shacket because it's like this thick shirt jacket thing. Paid $4.75 or $5.75 for it and it sold in less than a week for $75. Definitely a great brand to be on the lookout for, but you don't always find that great stuff every time you go and that's kind of my point. But if you go enough, I certainly believe that you can find some really cool stuff to resell. Like take for instance, the Salvation Army where you guys saw me pick up one little polo shirt last week. Well, I went like two different days and found some killer stuff. It's a camera case. I bet you there's, oh, there actually is one in here. 
Let's see. Well, Canon 8 megapixel power shot A590 IS looks like it's in good shape. They want 499. It's got the charger. I'll look it up. Alright, so it looks like they are 170 listed. Most of them without the charger, and I've got the charger. And 549 sold, 50 without a charger, 50, 40, 75, 45. Yeah, we'll grab that for five bucks. So I may have just stumbled upon something here. There's a couple pairs of these J. Lindbergh pants, and they're like a Swedish golf company. And there's a couple here, new tags. I know the self rate isn't great, but I think they're going to be worth picking up. Should be 4.99, I think. Probably gonna grab this. So that camera actually sold really quick for like $42. I think it sold in less than a day. I've only sold one pair of the J. Lindenberg pants. It was actually that crazy looking pair of shorts. Those sold for 50 bucks. So with $3.99 a piece, that's definitely a good buy. And when the other two sell, I think I've got them priced at 50 each. That's a heck of a buy. But I actually went to the same Salvation Army again after I went to yard sales last Saturday. I was in the area, decided to stop in, saw this thing sitting on the shelf, I opened it up, it was brand new, decided to do some research, and uh, the comps were kind of crazy. I mean, this thing sells for over $400 on eBay. Now, that being said, there was only one listed, one sold, but I felt like for $10 it was worth taking a chance on. I looked it up on their website and they're selling them for like between six and eight hundred dollars there so i think eventually it'll sell nine into four hundred that's pretty good but you guys get the point the secret is you've got to go thrifting a lot even if it's to the same thrift stores over and over again you know they're constantly putting stuff out every day and the more you're there you're going to increase your chances of finding some really cool stuff like you guys may remember i found this sideshow bob wig at a goodwill recently well i've been to that same goodwill three or four times since then and once again i found some pretty decent stuff so i just found this guy and honestly i thought it was like a costume thing but it's like a real military issue helmet i just looked it up by those numbers in there looks like it sells for 30 40 bucks maybe more i'm gonna give it a shot for five this place is kind of packed, but I went back to the golf clubs first, see what I could find. Found a few things. First is this Patriot Golf. Never heard of them before. I'm assuming they're like an as seen on TV brand. I uh, found a driver in a three wood. They want $3.99. Looks like they're selling for about $24 a piece. And this Adams Golf Inside XTD three wood looks like it's selling for $30, $35. And they want $3.99 for it too. So not too bad. Just walking in. See these guys, and I've sold these a hundred times. That's what you want to be on the lookout for, the Rose Search symbol. And these are the green and black ones too, the good ones, the jungle boots. Love finding those Rose Search boots, especially those green and black ones. They always sell super quick. I think these sold in like five or six days. The golf clubs haven't sold yet, but they will sell eventually, and I think that's going to be a decent pickup. But once again, I think you guys are getting my point. The more you're at thrift stores, the more you go, the more likely you are to find some really good stuff. You can probably guess where I'm heading now, where I've been headed this whole time. Uh, yeah, it's to a Goodwill. Except this isn't the first time that I've been to this Goodwill recently. He came here a few days ago, found something that was kind of unexpected, and it's already sold. Check it out. So I just spotted these speakers, KRK, Rocket. I looked them up without even looking at them. They won't. Eleven dollars a piece. They appear to be in good condition. I'm gonna look them over a little closer. There's 25 listed, 24 sold. And they're selling for 150 a pair. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get those. They don't have the power cords, but it's just a generic cord, and I've probably got 10 of them in the house. So I just spotted these Peloton shoes, and I've found Peloton shoes before, but these are like a little bit different model than I've ever seen. So I Google lens them and found out they're the Altos. Really good sale through rate, like 25 list to 27 sold. They're only gonna be 650 here and looks like they sell anywhere from 30 to 70, depending on the condition. These are in really good condition. So those speakers ended up being a great find. Tested them, they work great, really good condition, and they've already sold for $165 plus shipping. Haven't sold the Peloton shoes yet, but they'll sell soon. But we may as well check out the Goodwill while I'm here. Unfortunately, it is Senior Citizen Day, which means they get 25% off, which also means that it's very crowded. 
but you never know. All right, looked around through the hard goods, didn't find anything there, but I found a few clothing items. First up is this Fennec polo shirt. Doesn't have any golf course logos on it, which is pretty good. I think I can get 20, 25 for this one. Comps are all over the place, to be honest with you. It's gonna be 475 here. Then I found this Oberon flame retardant t-shirt. Couldn't find exact comps on it, but it's brand new. Gonna be 475. And some of the Oberon flame resistant stuff sells for big money. And here's another golf brand, Turtleson. It's got the fish all over print. Found one similar that sold for $29. This one does have a logo on it, Callaway Gardens, which actually may help it. So $4.75, we'll take a chance on that. And then finally, this actually matches the striped shirt that you guys saw earlier in this video. PGA Ocean Course hat, $2.99. They've gone up on their prices here as far as hats go. I think I can get 15 or 20 for it on eBay or I'll just throw it on whatnot. I'm honestly surprised that I was able to find something at that Goodwill just now because uh, I got to come clean. I was actually there earlier today after I dropped off my package at the post office this morning. Uh, that Goodwill's right down the street, so I decided to run in and I didn't find a single thing. And then when I got the idea to film this video, that Goodwill's the closest. So I ran in. Obviously, you guys saw what I found, and that just kind of proves my point. The more you go, the more you're going to find. And they were actually restocking while I was in there, so I may could have stuck around and found even more stuff. Who knows? But I wanted to get home. I wanted to edit this video and show you guys also something that was not that I found, but something that was given to me and really means a lot, and I really want to share it to you guys. All right, so before I show you guys this thing, I do want to say that I completely understand that everybody's situation is different. Like you may have a nine to five job where you can't thrift that much. You may live in a rural area where there's not many thrift stores. There's a lot of variables. I completely understand that. And that's not to say that you can't walk into a thrift store and load up with three cartloads worth of reselling good stuff. You just never know. But certainly going to more of those thrift stores gives you a better chance. But how about this thing? custom painted Clemson fishing lure. I actually went to my post office box the other day and this was in there along with a note from a longtime viewer, longtime subscriber, and I would say friend, my buddy Ron. He had sent me this and a friend of his actually makes these. I'll put his Instagram up here and link his Etsy shop down below if you guys are interested in something like it. But he actually sent me this. Uh, it probably made my whole week. I just think it's awesome. So thank you, Ron. I really appreciate it. But I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.